India's September quarter Q2 GDP print came above the expectations uh, driven by the robust growth in the manufacturing sector, mining and construction sectors. However, growth in the agriculture segment cooled due to an erratic monsoon. India's quarter two GDP grew 7.6%, significantly exceeding the expectations. A mint poll of 18 economists had estimated the gross uh, domestic product, the GDP growth, to be about 6.8% in the quarter. In the first quarter of the current fiscal year, the Indian economy expanded by 7.8%. Let's in fact have a look at all these numbers and what they entail. I'm going to go to the big screen and try and show you what exactly has been the transformation, what has been the difference in uh, Q1 and Q2 and uh, what kind of a growth story that India had promised the world India is delivering. All right. Well, the RBI had projected that uh, the quarter two, the financial year 24, real GDP growth rate at 6.5%. Uh, per per but the GDP growth is 7.6%. So leaps and bounds ahead of what was predicted. The real GDP growth is not only higher than the median projections of 68 but also the highest estimate of 7.4%. So what this means is that Economists had predicted that the highest that it can go would be 7.4%, but it's gone to 76 That's really great. And the requirement is lower than the RBI projection of 5.8% uh, in uh, financial year uh, 24 in this particular quarter. So exceeding all expectation, it is the highest among emerging market economies for the same corresponding period. India's GDP growth has been phenomenal. The Prime Minister just a few weeks ago also mentioned that we will become the third strongest econ economy, uh, fastest growing economy as well and the strongest one as well uh, when he comes to power in 2024. And this also goes on to reflect the strong resilience of the Indian economy. Remember folks uh, that the supply chain, the routes have all uh, been impeded by COVID-19 and they are still in the process of recovery but India has left all of that behind. Private consumption has further strengthened to the drive uh, and the GDP growth has obviously benefited. It has gotten a leap as a result of uh, these uh, patterns in consumption and investment. The investment dr drive in the economy has been steadily picking up and is another driver of growth. The investment sentiment is what also makes an economy grow and that has been boosted in the last few years. So that means there is trust in the government and the exports have also increased from 21.4% of the GDP at the current prices in quarter one uh, to 21.9% in quarter two. So there is an increase in exports also. And this is obviously a contributing factor to the GDP growth, which we are, in fact, highly impressed with. Imports have increased from 23.8% of the GDP at uh, the current prices, of course, and that's how they calculated to 24.4% in quarter two. So slight, slight increase in imports, but of course, the increase in GDP is uh, very good news coming in. We're going to get Dr. Sharad Kohli, senior economist, to uh, give his analysis and assessment of what this means. Dr. Kohli, a very good morning to you. What do you make of this news? India, of course, uh, not only meeting expectations, but exceeding expectations when it comes to growth. Good morning, Vineet, and good morning to all the viewers of uh, NewsX. Uh, indeed, uh, very, very heartening news coming from the economy at a time when the global economy is facing headwinds, you know, or shall I say Indian economy while flying cross is facing headwinds and the global economy is not in a very, very good shape. I mean, we, we, we see Europe barely staying above recession, some parts of Europe still in recession, America just about staying above water. You know, I see that more particularly because of the 2024 elections. I mean, the, the numbers coming from America, they're just about indicating that they are managing to uh, stay above recession. So I think in such a scenario, uh, India showing this kind of uh, GDP propulsion, I think is an exceptional achievement because uh, normally, you know, we talk of the global, uh, uh, you know, you know, the world being one family where if one part of the one part of the globe is affected, the other part is also affected. And I think India's resilience, as you rightly said, have proved that uh, we can grow despite uh, despite a global uh, slowdown. So I think it's, it's very, very encouraging. 
primarily i think uh, we we know that there are four engines of an economy one is the government spending which has been firing like anything more than 100 lakh crores being pumped in by the government on infrastructure second engine being private investment which has now started catching up it was a bit slow earlier i remember when the when the finance minister said unleash the animal spirit and that has started firing as well the third uh, engine as you rightly said private consumption and we should not forget this is q2 uh, gdp number q3 is going to be even more encouraging because q3 saw the festive season where consumption further rose we saw automobiles and everything else being you know sold uh, like anything so i think uh, a q3 could be even better than q2 but but remaining on q2 i think manufacturing has been 13.9% i think a very 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 positive uh, analysis of this data is that manufacturing was at the top followed by construction so when manufacturing and construction in an economy fires that is a very clear indicator that uh, the economy is going great guns of course uh, the utility sector also did very well along with the power sector we saw a little bit of uh, slow down in 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 services probably in this phase but that is also i feel uh, it's momentary and it's very very seasonal you know we see some quarter some sector going up in the other quarter the other sector going up so that's quite normal but all in all a very very good uh, growth rate and this has been indicative for a long time beneath i mean we saw the gst numbers 1.7 lakh has become the new normal for for gst so i think it was quite expected i was always expecting this to be over 7% on your channel i said that many times that uh, you know we can we can easily go beyond 7% and i hope and wish that this is going to continue and i think it's good news for and every citizen of the country it brings prosperity to every every single person in the country dr kohli one last question before we let you go what does this mean for our mission of uh, you know that figure of 5 trillion that the prime minister is so passionate about and secondly uh, you know india also wants to jump to being the third largest economy in the world are you are you satisfied with these numbers is this the growth the trajectory that you would have expected if we are to talk about that future very near to that because uh, we are already 4 trillion now we are we are just behind japan and germany and i think uh, my estimate says that we should be crossing japan and germany by by let's say the end of next year or maybe uh, first quarter of 2025 which means we will be getting to the 5 trillion sooner than uh, what the what the prime minister was was probably forecasting and we should become the moment we do that we'll also become the third largest economy i think which where the world will start looking at india in a different way which is already doing by the way but then we should we should be amongst the top 3 and which which will be a great achievement for a country of 1.42 billion people i think uh, the unemployment rate has also come down from 7.2 to 6.6 which is another very good news and which is a clear indication of the fact that we are we are growing leaps and bounds with it for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon